Now I'm going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. When I get to the last one, I'm going to hold the wheel, take it off, grab the wheel, and slide it off. Now we're going to take off the sway bar link nut, use a 17 millimeter socket, and get right here. And then the stud is spinning, so what we're going to have to do is use some locking pliers on the back side. Now with that locked on, and loosen this up. There we go. Now slide the link out. Down below, we're gonna take the bottom part of the link off. Just use the locking pliers again. Same idea. Tighten those up. And using a 16 millimeter socket, I'm gonna take that off. off and grab the link and slide it right out. Now take the link and slide it in position down below into the sway bar. Get this lined up and take the nut, get the nut started. You're going to use a 3 16 hex key in the center there. And I'll use a 15 millimeter wrench. I'll just use a ratchet wrench to get it started. Start tightening that down. And then the hex key is only going to hold the stud from spinning. Then I'm going to use a torque wrench in there and torque that to 41 foot-pounds. And take the upper part of the sway bar link, slide that through the bracket of the strut. Take the nut, get that started. Now I'm gonna use a hex key, a 3 16 for the stud to prevent it from spinning and then use a 15 millimeter wrench, tighten the nut down. Now we're gonna to torque this to 41 foot pounds. And put the wheel on. Put the lug bolts in. Get those started. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 110 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. <laughs> 